Hey everybody! So, when you're working with text fields, one thing that's kind of annoying is that when you click on the text field, something wrong occurs. Their keyboard sometimes overlaps the text field, or that you can't even put the keyboard away by pressing that return key in the bottom right corner. So today I'm going to show you how to do that with Swift and Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first thing we need to do is open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and this will be a single view application. Click next, and our product name I am just going to call mine text field. Click next, and of course our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Click next, create, and now let's go ahead, make this a bit bigger, and head over to our main.storyboard. Now just to demonstrate what exactly I'm trying to fix, I'm going to click and drag a text field into the center of this, and then right click or control click and drag from this text field, and they say center vertically, then center horizontally, so it's going to be centered right there in the middle. And now if we were to build and run, as you will see, we have our text field, but when we click on our text field, it puts up the keyboard where the text field is. So in order to fix this, let's go ahead, delete this text field that we have, and let's add a scroll view. Just click and drag the scroll view onto our scene and make it fill up the whole scene. Then right click or control click and drag from this scroll view over to our view right over here. And we want to make it have equal width and equal height. Then we also want it to center vertically and center horizontally within the container. So now it should all all these lines that you see around here should be blue. If they're orange, something is going to be wrong with your constraints. So now let's go ahead add in our text field and click and drag this text field into our UI scroll view. And now again, if we were to build and run this, we still have the scroll view being covered up with the text view. So in order to fix this, go over to your uh, assistant editor, right click or control click and drag from your text field and go over to your viewcontroller.swift and say the connection type as an outlet and the name of this, we'll just call this text field. Connect. And now we also need to right click or control click and drag from this text field that we have over to our view controller. So we can set the view controller as the delegate, or basically the view controller is going to be the thing that controls the text field. So that's right up here as this yellow dot, or you can go up here into your hierarchy and see it right there. So go ahead, click, right click or control click and drag, drop, and we're going to set our outlets as the delegate. And now right up here where it says class view controller, UI view controller, we need to say UI view controller, comma, then UI text field, delegate, like so. So now that we added this UI text field delegate, this is going to allow us to do things when we tap on our text field. So one first thing we want to say is text field did begin editing. So as soon as you start clicking on that text field, we want something to happen. Now, what do we want to happen? We want to set the offset of our scroll view equal to something else. So we also need a right click or control click and drag from our scroll view over to our viewcontroller.swift and this is going to call the name of our scroll view and we're going to call this scroll view connect and now we have the scroll view go down here to your text field did begin editing and say scroll view dot set content offset and we're going to set this equal to a cg point make and the x value we will keep at zero as we want it to be centered still and the y value we are going to increase it by 250 as that is the size of a keyboard and then animated true. So now if we were to build and run this, it will actually change the offset of our scroll view. So let's go ahead, click on our text view, and as you can see, it's already moving up. So now we want it to be, when we click on this return button, we want it to move the keyboard down. So in order for us to do this, let's go over here to our, our viewcontroller.swift and just type in text field should return. And then our bool, we want to return true. So we're returning our bool to true as true that the text field should return. And then we also want to say inside of this, say text field, and if you're wondering where I'm getting this from, it's referenced right up here where we created our UI text field. And basically this is any text field that you touch on. So text field dot resign first responder. So as it plainly states, we are when we click return, we are going to return, the text field is going to return and the keyboard returns as well. But as you can see, when I click return again, the, the text field doesn't go back. So in order for us to do this, let's say, go right down here and say text field did end editing. We want to basically copy and paste this scroll view.set contents offset 
and we want it to just be 0, 0. So now if we were to build and run this, we have it so when we click on it, it moves up and when we click return, it moves down. But now if I were to actually add another text field right up here, let's say uh, add this text field and we're going to right click or control click and drag from this text field and say outlet says delegate again. And also make sure that your text field that you've just created is inside of the scroll view as well. Let's build and run this. And now as you will see, uh, when it's built and ran, we click on this top text field, it goes out of our scene. So in order to fix this, we need to go back to our view controller.swift and inside of our function text field did and begin editing. We want to say if our text view with a lowercase t is equal equal to, and this is going to be equal to the text field with the capital T, meaning the the bottom text field right down here. If it's equal to this text field, then we want to take our content offset and move it up 0, 250. And we can also just say else, uh, nothing happens, or you can also have another text field up here that when you click on that text field, it only goes up by scroll view dot sent content offset by like 100 pixels. So it doesn't go up too far. Just an idea, but I'm not going to show you that. Let's go ahead, close that else statement. And if we were to build and run this, you will see that the scroll view is not going to go up for this top text field now. So there you have it. You can click return, click on this one, and it moves up. That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this for me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Hey everybody, so text fields and keyboards seem like very, very 